Hey, welcome. So in this video, we will be learning about how to connect your decentralized application with any wallet. So I'm using two libraries for the connection. First is Web3.js and second is use Web3 React. So these two libraries will help me in connecting the wallet easily. So uh, first I'm giving you a demo like how uh, I, I wanted to explain it. So first you can see my MetaMask. Uh, and currently it is on ethereum minute and with the address ending with 48 so uh, first i will connect the wallet so once i connect the wallet the metamask pop-up will comes out and if i connect this and the wallet is connected and you can see my address here second if i click on the git balance i can get balance of my ethereum this is and chain id is one so, but I uh, did a configuration to change the network. Suppose I wanted to change network to Polygon. So once I click on change network, it will pops out again and will ask to switch the network to Polygon. And if I switch, now chain ID is this. And if I click on the get balance, I will get my Matic balance. And you can see over here, my Polygon network is selected and the balance is here. So let's go to the code. So let's go through the code and how I implemented this. So this is the code and uh, let's go directly to the app.js. So this is app.js and into app.js, this is the library web3 react. And uh, you can see my home component is wrapped by web3 react provider and with the function get library. And once this executes, so the provider is set over web3 provider so let's go to the home component and inside the home component we can see uh, i have created a state for the balance i have created this for the injected wallets like metamask and trust wallet so here the injected connector injected connector is imported from web3 react which allows us how many chains and which chains are supported here so I added 137 for Polygon mainnet, 8001 for the Polygon testnet, 1 for the Ethereum and 4 for the Ethereum testnet. So this is the library which is imported, which gives us the account, which gives the chain ID, which gives the a function to connect the wallet, which is activate and active, which gives us a flag whether the wallet is connected or not. And the library means the whole object of the uh, connection we can use it for further i will also show you into the console log to understand how this object behaves so uh, let's go to the ui code first into the ui code you can see i have implemented this connect wallet function once i click over this button this connect wallet function executes second this another button which gives us the user balance and third which gives the change network functionality where it is so this switch network so let's see how i have implemented these three functions over here first function is connect wallet and to the connect wallet function we have to call the activate function of the use web3 react by passing the injected so injected configurations are here so this will help us in connecting the wallet second get balance so uh, library is the object given by use with react and get balance is a function into that library and by passing the account it will give us the balance so the balance we can get it over here second is switch network so switch network is the function where we call it you can see library dot provider dot request method is wallet switch ethereum chain params may we can pass it which chain id so 0x98 is the polygon mainnet chain id so once we click over switch network it automatically pops up into the metamask to change the network to polygon so uh, i think this is clear how i've implemented that and uh, let's let's go to the console to understand how everything looks like so uh, if if i reload this and go to the info you can see everything is undefined I've added the some uh, console log over here. So once I connect, you can see uh, things are 
uh, this is the address this is true flag means my wallet is connected this is chain id which is 137 and last thing is library which is i wanted to explain over here so once i open this you can see all the objects parameters are here which shows a connection url is metamask that means we are connected with the metamask and few more thing uh, is provider available yes true and second uh, this provider method so this provider method if you go to the target you can see bunch of informations are here which we can also access through window object window dot ethereum so both the objects are same so this basically uh, the this is the provider of the metamask which injected into the window dot ethereum so this is connection this is provider and here the network you can see network configurations are here the 137 chain id which is connected and network promise and which fulfilled and these are details so just go through these objects and we can understand how this library and how this connection is actually work once we understand this we can easily scale our decentralized application without any hassle so this is just a basic connection of the wallet with your decentralized application this has some problem uh, let me explain what suppose i've reloaded this and you can see the whole connection vanishes so how to handle this that your session should be persist and you can use it further into your application we will learn this into the next video and i hope you have learned something new today hit the like button to this video and subscribe my channel for further video updates thank you